Hey guys, it's me Ryan and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I've got an unboxing for you guys. Um, as you guys know, the past year and a half I haven't had an overlocker. Um, I think I've said in one of my previous videos that I had to sell it. Um, so I finally managed to be able to get a new one and it's actually my dream overlocker. It's the one I wanted to purchase before I had my old one. Um, but of course at the time I wasn't you know, financially able to um, and, and things like that but thankfully now I am able to and that is exactly what I've done so as you guys can see it's in the back over there um, so in today's video I'm just going to be unboxing and setting it up for you guys I'm really talking you guys through it um, just in case any of you watching this are interested in buying the same machine um, or just really want to watch a video of someone unboxing a sewing machine because I know sometimes I just like watching unboxings as well but before we get started I do want to say a big thank you to every single one of you guys um, there's been a lot of new subscribers around you recently and also a lot more views on my YouTube channel which is fantastic and I do just want to say that I'm very grateful um, for all of you I know I'm quite inconsistent right now with uploading um, but that is simply because I'm very busy with university and I'm finishing my degree in literally like three weeks so after that I will be uploading consistently and I'm so excited like I'm really excited just to get back into sewing um, and just really into like my craft and what I enjoy and um, although I do it in university because it's like work I guess I, f I feel like with all the work I'm doing in university I don't have time to sew for myself or work on projects that I want to work on personally and that aren't for my modules and things like that um, but yeah I just wanted to say a big thank you to you guys and let you know that I am coming back consistently very soon um, and I'm just very grateful for all of you because slowly this is hopefully going to become one of my jobs one day um, which would be amazing and just really really what I want to do so yeah I just wanted to say thank you guys for that because I am very grateful so as you guys can see this is the machine I have purchased this is the Janome Airthread 2000D Professional um, so it's a airthread overlocker which means I don't have to thread it manually I can just use the air thread system um, to thread it so it will be much easier and much quicker um, personally that it wasn't the biggest selling point for me the reason why I purchased this is because it's very heavy duty and can handle a lot and I chose this over in an industrial overlocker because um, I find it easier to change the needles on the um, domestic overlockers because I can tell I can put the sewing machine on his back because I obviously can't hold the needles in position um, whereas with my industrial straight stitch I can just tilt the machine on his back anyway um, and also simply because of space I don't really have the space for an industrial overlocker so this did seem the best option for me and I'm hoping to have it for many years to come um, so yeah this is a machine I ordered it from sewing machines direct which I get all of my domestic sewing machines from I won't go anywhere else they are absolutely fantastic and and um, yeah, let's just start unboxing it. So um, this, of course, is what it comes in, just a standard box. And I'm just gonna use my trusty paper scissors to open up the box. Okay, so. So. On top I have my invoice which I will keep just in case I need to send it back for any reason you should always keep the invoices I also always keep the boxes as well because if it does need to be sent for repair you know in years to come even you can still use the box because it's meant specifically for the machine so the first thing on top is the instruction manual along with a like I guess instructional DVD um, I personally won't be using the DVD because this is pretty self-explanatory this machine um, and as you guys know if you've watched my overlocker for beginners video which by the way is now like heading towards 40,000 views um, as you guys know I know how to use an overlocker um, and I'm very grateful for the support on that video as well but if you are new to them here's a manual and I will have a full YouTube video coming out on this by the way in a few weeks time um, so that is always handy to have um, I'm sure there's a warranty in here somewhere which I will register we then have a I think this is a dust cover which is always handy especially in a sewing room because there's always fibers and dust everywhere when it comes to fabric and things so they are very very useful then this is the thread trap like the bin that all the cuttings get um you know held into the catch bin i guess it's called and also an accessories pouch on top there so 
Let's see what we have. So this is the accessories tray that comes with the machine. I mean, in there is all your standard things, um, just like um, you actually have some looper thread. Then you have some, you know, thread corn covers. You have a spare knife. Um, your typical tweezers and screwdriver and things like that in there. If you guys have had any sewing machine or overlocker, you know it's pretty much the same thing that comes with every machine. So that's very useful. And again. This is just the um, thread catching tray, which is fantastic. And actually, when it comes to an overlocker, having a thread catching tray is important to me because you can just pull it out and put it in the bin. You don't. There is no mess. And um, a lot of the other lo I was gonna. I was looking at Juki overlockers, and um, because Juki and Janome are my preferred brands, and um, none of them really come with a thread catcher. So that was a big selling point for me. So now let's get the actual machine out. I'll tip it forward a bit so it's all in the styrofoam and everything as you guys can see um, we also do have the power cable and the um, presser foot which are all attached in one which is fantastic so that is very important so now let's move on to the machine itself very well packaged which is great and oh surprisingly this machine i've read and heard this machine is typically bigger than other overlockers but it's actually much bigger than i thought which makes me excited but also nervous um i am thinking of putting a little table in my studio just for this um but for today we'll just put it on my cutting table so let's pull it out oh, it's very heavy i must say it's very heavy And that's it for the box. So let's close this. Put it to one side. So this is the overlocker. I'm gonna move you guys a bit closer, but it's, it's definitely much bigger than my last one. Um, but I can feel the quality on it. Um, it feels very, very high quality and sturdy, which is fantastic. And I can see it's all metal, which is great. Um, it does definitely does feel very very high quality, which is very promising So I'm gonna move you guys a bit closer and we'll take a closer look at the machine Okay, so here is the machine as you guys can see it's it is beautiful It looks very modern and it looks very high-end and also just it looks really good quality, which is fantastic um, so um, as you guys can see it has the rolled hem um, switch there of course your typical tension dies dials um, this up here is the foot pressure, which is actually looks more of like a tension knob this time rather than something you twist with a screwdriver, which I really like. Um, of course, the inside, you open it up like every other overlocker. You have the air threading system there, which you kind of just turn like that. And I believe you, yeah, you lock it into place like that and then it's ready to um, work, I guess, work as magic, like so, which is very exciting. So this switch is to engage the air thread system. This switch is to, you just switch it back and forth, whichever looper you're going to be threading at the time. And then the, of course, the hand dial on the side, you turn to engage the air thread in loopers, but also, you know, to, if you want to stitch by hand, one or two stitches. Um, and then, of course, this side here, we have um, the typical components. Components. So then, on here on the inside, we have another knob here, which is the cutting width adjustment, which is something that I like to perfect because I don't like to have loopers, you know, over the fabric. Um, and then, of course, this side you just have the metal chassis, which is steel, which is fantastic. And then of course you have your presser foot, which I will lift up. And then you just have some polystyrene on the back. Um, but yeah, this is a basic overview of the machine. So far, just by judging it from coming out of the box, I am very happy because it definitely is high quality. 
Um, although the outside is plastic, but the actual frame is steel and it's very, very durable, which I'm very excited for. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this plugged in and I'm going to get some thread on there and we'll have, have a quick test stitch to see how this is sewing straight out the box. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got the machine threaded. Um, I think I've done it correctly. It was very easy. I'll just have a full video coming on um, how to thread this machine properly very soon. But for now, I'm just going to put the needle threader, um, I'm going to put the whisk bin in and we'll test it and see how it's stitching and everything like that. So I believe this just slides on the bottom. Very easy. Um, so I'm hoping I've threaded all of this correctly, all the settings are on the settings um, that it was on straight out of the box. Um, so I'm just going to grab a scrap of calico and um, we will see how this is stitching straight out of the box. I think I have threaded it correctly but we'll find out now. Okay so this is just some standard um, medium weight calico. Um, this is one layer so let's see how it stitches using this. Okay, so that went very well. It's very quiet and it's very smooth, which I really, really like. Um, I am gonna oil it um, once I finish this video, um, just to make sure that it's all, you know, not dry and it's very it's lubricated correctly. Okay, so this is the stitching. If you guys can see, this is the stitching straight out of the box. So this is the stitching straight out the box and I'm Overall, very happy with it. Um, I don't think there's much adjustments I'm going to make except for the cutting width. Um, but in general, I'm very happy with how this is stitching out of the box. As you guys can see, everything is even and nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and sew a seam on the calico just to see how strong it is. And also we'll be able to tell more um, if we need to adjust any tension settings then as well. So I'm just gonna take two bits of calico together these are not cut accurately um, at all but it's fine because the overlocker will neaten that up for us and I'm just gonna run this through the machine So this is the result of the seam and as when I you guys can see when I open it it's you know you can you can barely see the stitching there um, I have tightened the left needle just by one so I've moved it from three to four and I'll retest that because you can see the stitching very slightly there but overall I am very very happy um, so I'm just gonna test it again with that tightened tension and see how it turns out I am very happy with the results of this. It's absolutely beautiful stitch. Bit better. Um, you can still see some of the thread where I'm pulling it. Um, so there might be some tension settings I need to adjust, but generally I am very happy with this. So I'm just gonna have one more go with those adjusted settings. Yeah, I think that looks much better. I turned all of the attention dials up to four and I think that is much better. So this is um, the stitch I'm getting now. As you can see, it's stunning. Um, that's, it's just a thread caught in the back there. But um, yeah, it's a very, very nice stitch. So I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at the machine. Um, as I said, I'm very happy with the stitching out of the box. Um, so as you guys can see, it is a big machine. It's not a small machine whatsoever. Um, it's not something I'm gonna be able to, you know, put under my table and bring out every time I wanna use. Um, I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to have this set up permanently. Um, so I'm just gonna find some space for that. Um, but yeah, so this is machine close up. Um, it's very nice so as you guys can see it you have the typical tension dials at the top you have more tension dials or discs at the back um, here is thread stand um, I assume that is the pressure foot pressure 
um, and then of course we have the um, rolled hem settings which again in my next video in a video in the future I should say I will be doing um, as soon as I've got used to this machine and comfortable and confident with it I will show you guys um, a full in-depth video on this um, but yeah so this is the machine and of course here we have the um, stitch length as long along with the differential feed um, I think the stitch length is the bigger dial and the differential feed is the smaller dial there and then we have the standard um, you know uh, turning wheel that well, every single machine sewing machine in the world will have um, if I just turn it off for a minute and pull the trigger out um, I'll give you guys a look of the inside so as you guys can see a bit different from a typical um, overlocker um, because it is a thread in so this is the little dial I was talking about earlier which you can switch between whichever looper you're going to be threading this is the dial here that actually engages the air thread in um, so what you do is you switch that um, so if you guys take a look at the loopers there and um, what you do is you switch this over to threading mode and then once that's switched over you just turn this until the line on this, um, until that line there is lined up with this dot here on the side, and that will engage the loopers ready for air thread in, which again I'll show you in much more detail in a um, future video. So let's just close that, and then again, here is your cutting width dial, and um, here is your um, rolled hem switch again, and then I think I'm not quite sure what this is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that is at all. Oh, I think this actually, I think this um, engages or disengages the knife. Um, but then, of course, this side, you know, it's your typical metal body. Um, as you guys can see, it is, you know, steel. It's very heavy duty, which is fantastic. So let me just close this back up. So yeah, that's just a closer look at the machine itself. Um, it's very good, it's very, very high quality. And overall, first impressions, I'm very happy with the machine. So that is my new overlocker. As you guys can see, it's still there. Um, I am so, so happy with how that has come out straight out of the box. And um, I'm very, very excited to have a overlocker in the sew room again. Um, because as you guys know, if you've seen my previous overlocker video, which I said is almost at 40,000 views, um, I absolutely love the overlocker. It's one of my favorite machines. I'm um, not only to sew um, stretch and knit fabrics, but also just to sew woven fabrics as well and also finishings. Um, it's very good for, um, you know, I try and finish my garments more high end, whether that's binding or, you know, enclosing the seams in some way. Um, but, you know, if you're doing alterations and things, Things like that and you need to, you just want to mimic what's already there um, if it's overlocked you need an overlocker um, and also it's just a very very useful tool to have um, and it's very quick so I'm very excited to have that in the sewing room again um, and it's actually made me feel very inspired once again to do some sewing which I've been lacking on recently especially with personal projects um, so yeah so that is my new overlocker I really hope you guys like it as much as I do let me know what overlocker you have down below in the comments or if you don't have one um, if you're looking to get one and um, I will see if I can help point you in the right direction but I definitely recommend Sewing Machines Direct I will link them in the description box below and um, this is no way sponsored or anything I just really you know really trust that company and they're just fantastic um, so yeah I will link them below thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much for all of your support and um, comment down below what videos you want to see and also if you follow me on Instagram be sure to check out my stories because I post behind the scenes of things I'm doing all of the time just like I will today because I am working on a dress which is where is it this that there it is leather um, which is you know something difficult to work with if you haven't before um, but I'm getting there thank you guys so much for watching this video please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys